kind of a depressed feeling. It's got hard stone walls. You know what I mean? Is he auditioning? Like yeah, I guess I'm acting or that's his word? I'm sorry about that. I goofed up the last couple of lines. I thought it was his life story. I right? know. That's okay. No, you know what that is. The hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't know. Because uh, Freddie went here. Freddie? Yeah, Freddie Prince. He's great. You know, uh -huh. he's the best. Who's that? Freddie Prince? Yeah, sure. I feel like the first uh, Latino comedian ever. Dude, you know what they say? Don't matter, Machu Picchu. Last day of Latino. Fucking Italians look Mexicans in the morning. Northern Italy is yeah. very white. Yeah. Southern right. Italy, especially Sicily, is very dark. But how far is that from Spain? And we're descendants from oh, yeah. Spaniards. Yeah. Damn, they're gonna go through the whole four years. Wow. There's a lot like, of like, movies. Like high school and stuff? Yeah, they're, they're, it's a performing arts high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Are these motherfuckers supposed to be high school? They're all high school students. All right, what is the plot on this? Young men and women audition for coveted spots at the New York High School of Performing Arts. Those who make the cut discover that it takes a lot of hard work to become a star. And sometimes difficult decisions have to be made. Youngsters grapple with heavy issues such as homosexuality, abortion, what? attempted suicide, and illiteracy. Whoa. On top of other unique struggles, the students must deal with the mundane pressures of adolescence like homework, heartbreak, and rejection. Would you like normal high school in other words? It's nor the normal struggles of, of high school life. And on top of that, add the struggles of them trying to trying to make it, trying to make it yeah. in the performing arts. This, this, this part is the first one to do this kind of kind of thing. What? This is like a music video looking movie. Oh. The school itself doesn't look very fancy on the inside, huh? Like very, you know, like marble floor yeah. kind of feel, you know. But why did he get like that? Why did he get like that? Yeah. Why do you think he got like that? Because he doesn't know how to read. Exactly. So yeah. he got like he's he, been fronted on, like yeah. So he's the got defensive because she called him out. Yeah. So back right in this movie, they explain what a movie, what a, what a music's coming from. Mm -hmm. In other '80s movies, they don't they don't care. They don't. Go, <laughs> it's just all of a sudden. Yeah. Out of thin air. Out of thin air, and the music came from like, anywhere. Oh yeah. Oh wow. No way he does it. Well, they were cold in the '80s, so I don't know. Pull it back, yeah. So after all that shit he did, breaking, breaking stuff, they still let him back in. Uh huh. Wow. Oh. But my mom, she used to go to like different um. um what do you call them? Dom Dominican. <laughs> she used to go to different Dominican. You know what I'm talking about? I can't remember the name. Your mom used to go to different Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> she would go don't don't I know the word I know the word oh. denomination yeah you know uh, remember that, that, that show Glee mm -hmm. I never watched it but probably would have got it from like they got inspired by this movie yeah right high school, high school come on musical, right come on. Yeah. you never heard of a show called Cop Rock no. oh you showed me it, <laughs> I showed it to you <laughs> That is the most trippiest 80s show ever. I love it. I used to love it as a kid, man. It's, just, it's ridiculously long. Yeah, that too. You know why it's long, right? It ain't the movie itself. What? It's the, the, the musical sequences mm. that makes it longer than it, than it should be. If they would have just left it dialogue-wise, it would have been like an hour and a half. Really? Thank God it'll be over. Yes! Okay, <laughs> honest time. All right. All right, hold on, fuck that. We're we gonna be honest tonight. It was ridiculously long. Yeah. I know you're all gonna hate us for this. <laughs> I know you are. We we just finished watching before um, Flashdance. And it was pretty damn good. Toward, I mean, the third toward act, the toward the end. <laughs> the beginning was like, what? This one right here was consistently, I can't even say that word, consistently not interesting. <laughs> Not engaging, but for the most part, it's like, oh, especially two hours. Are you kidding me with the two hours? 
It could have been better. It, now, is it rewatchable? That's, that's what I always ask. Is it rewatchable? No. <laughs> Hell no, I wouldn't want to rewatch this. <laughs> is it. We would, you, would you recommend it to someone else? Mm, probably not. I wouldn't. Like, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, I think it's too long. It's too long. It's too, it's long. too long. It's too long. The concept was good. I mean, basically, stay humble, work hard. No, it, you know Nothing's, what? Nothing in life is a guarantee. No, I said this before. And that, that's, good that, that's good that they made it a show. I said it before. There are movies that should have been TV shows, the TV shows that should have been movies. This should this should have always been a TV show, not a movie, because you have too many characters. Mm-hmm. There's too There's many stuff. Too like many that. layers. You know what I mean? Too many stories to tell, and you get convoluted. Oh, God, I'm so glad it's over. Go ahead, hate on me. I don't care. <laughs> all right, y'all. We don't say anything else. No, I'm good. <laughs> she's shy. It's all good. She hates it too. <laughs>